What's up everyone, it's TyranitarTube and welcome back to another concept coverage video. Based off popular suggestions from the last video, today we're gonna take a look at two notable dark type Pokemon in Hoenn and then possibly getting Mega Evolutions in these upcoming games, Mega Cacturn and Mega Crawdon. Let's start off with Cacturn. I actually really like Cacturn, but as much as I do, I gotta level with it. It's a pretty bad Pokemon. It's got a decent move pool with mostly stab attacks as well as a few other type coverage moves like Thunder Punch and Drain Punch, as well as a few other moves like Sword Stance and Synthesis. Its balanced stats make it a really good mixed attacker to deal with different opponents, but on the other end, it sucks. Its defenses are so bad that the majority of super effective moves will knock it out, like an Ice Beam from a Glalie. And to make matters worse, it's so slow that a Pidgey could outspeed it. Other Pokemon like Sharpedo that don't have good defenses can rely on their high speed to knock out the opponent before they have a chance to fight back. And while Cacturn can deal a huge blow to the opponent, it'll barely get the chance being so slow and fragile. But Mega Cacturn could be the solution to Cacturn's crisis. It should get a major offensive and speed boost as well as a minor defensive boost. Cacturn's been known as an all-out attacker, so it can't randomly become much more defensive. But with much more offensive power, it'll be able to deal the biggest of blows to the opponent. And with increased speed, it'll be able to outspeed a lot of its former threats. But there's more to it. The most popular abilities for a Mega Cacturn are Speed Boost, Water Absorb, and Sap Zipper. Speed Boost, the most popular of them all, would be the biggest help to Cacturn turn, allowing it to outspeed over 90% of all Pokemon after just one boost. It might even be too much for Cacturn, but if Cacturn did get speed boost, it would definitely be much more used. Water Absorb, which was Cacturn's original hidden ability, was suggested based off the fact that it not only gives Cacturn an extra immunity, but also the chance to heal its HP without spending a whole turn using Synthesis. And Sap Zipper is similar to Water Absorb, it would give Cacturn an extra immunity as well as a chance to raise its offenses. Here's a concept of what Mega Cacturn could look like. This design takes on an appearance that looks a lot more like a scarecrow. Hay grows out from under its hats, claws grow out of its hands, and vines wrap around itself, and it overall takes a much better shape. This thing looks like the Green Ranger, but in a good way. It looks like it would be a slow but tanky attacker, and I like the concept. This next design is of a much different idea, and as implausible as this concept is, I like it. I've always been a fan of Mega Evolutions that change a lot, like Mega Pinsir and Mega Charizard X, so you can already guess that this thing would have caught my attention. A giant cloth forms on it, its legs seem to disappear, and it holds a leaf-styled scythe. Looking at this design, the first thing that comes to mind is a grass ghost type with levitate, and as amazing as that sounds, it doesn't seem likely, as Cacturn doesn't really learn any ghost attacks. But just imagine you Mega Evolving your Cacturn into a part ghost type just as your opponent is using high jump kick. Perfection. But this design still suits a grass dark type, and I hope Cacturn gets a unique mega evolution like this. And finally, this last design I feel suits Mega Cacturn the most. The spikes on its body grow out, a crown forms on its head, and its body enlarges and takes a better shape. I can definitely see this thing getting speed boosts and just wrecking teams in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I could definitely see Cacturn Mega evolving into this. Moving on, next up is Mega Crawdon. Now Crawdon itself is a pretty decent Pokemon, especially with its hidden ability, Adaptability. It has an average move pool with a ton of good moves benefited by Adaptability like Knock Off and Aqua Jet, but not too good type coverage. But it can learn some really good setup moves like Dragon Dance and Sword Stance, and unless you're running a Choice Band or Choice Scarf, Dragon Dance is literally a staple move on your moveset. But like Cacturn, Crawdon is also an all-out attacker. It doesn't do too well defensively and in terms of speed. But a Mega Evolution should be able to fix that. Mega Cronaut may not be able to fix Cronaut's speed and defenses, but can easily make it a threat in other ways. It should get a huge offensive boost as well as a smaller boost to the rest of its stats. Now look at those stats. Not only can this thing deal a heavy blow, but it's got decent defenses to take a hit or two. Do these stats not scare you? If anything were to get hit by this thing, anything, they'd be scarred for life. But anyways, the most popular abilities for a Mega Crawdon are Adaptability, Tough Claws, and Sheer Force. All three of these abilities just mean trouble. Adaptability already proves to be a crazy good ability in making Crawdon stab attacks that much more powerful. Just look at what Adaptability did to Lucario. Tough Claws would be great for boosting Crawdon's attack, and unlike Adaptability, it can also boost non-stab attacks like Egg Scissor. And Sheer Force, which boosts attacks that have a secondary effect at the cost of the effect, would be able to boost a ton of attacks both physical and special, like Crunch, Ice Beam, and Waterfall. 
Here's the concept design for what Mega Crawdon could look like. It's a pretty odd transformation, and it almost looks like an evolution of Crawdon over a Mega Evolution. Its claws and legs become much larger, and its tail grows into a more dragon-like tail and extends. Its head also grows out with horns and whiskers forming at its sides, and the star originally on its head becomes the center of its face. This design looks like it would be much more of a tank, with stronger offenses and defenses at the cost of speed, but nonetheless, it's a decent design. This next design is the typical Mega Evolution design, where everything about it is simply enhanced. The star on its head turns into a more pointed crest, what looks like steel armor forms on most of its orange body, and its claws and spikes become larger. Despite being a simple Mega, I can definitely see Game Freak doing this. And finally, this last fan design is my personal favorite, and a lot of you said the same when I asked you on Twitter. Along with its entire shell turning black, it grows and becomes larger. The star on its head turns into a pointed crest and whiskers grow out. It overall looks like it would be much faster, and I can picture the image of Crawdon Mega evolving into this thing in the games. I really do hope Mega Crawdon turns out to be something like this. But anyways, that's it for this concept coverage video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know your thoughts on Mega Character and Mega Crawdon, as well as other Hoenn Mega Evolutions you hope to see in the next video. There's going to be a ton of more concept coverage videos based off your suggestions, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want to see the last concept coverage video, go ahead and check out the video on the left.